guys this is another video of uh, blasting engineering in the earlier videos i explained about syllabus and uh, important parameters used in blasting practice and this is the third video entitled rock breakage due to blasting uh, as i mentioned that uh, uh, blasting is the cheapest means to break rock and uh, to displace the rock mass at a particular distance by the application of explosive and uh, stress waves are those waves uh, which are generated because of that blasting in mines mines may be open cast mines and underground mines and uh, stress waves uh, propagate within uh, material and the surface as well so based on the based on the their uh, characteristic of uh, propagation and uh, particle displacement because of the wave propagation in solid or on the earth surface stress waves are divided into two groups uh, body waves and surface waves body waves are generated when uh, explosives in short holes are detonated by using detonators and by other uh, you know initiation means and, and uh, as far as surface waves are concerned surface waves are generated when uh, body waves are uh, interacted uh, on a free surface or you can say on a uh, discontinuities in rock mass therefore body waves body waves now body waves you know body waves uh, further divided into two group p wave and s wave and the surface waves are divided into ray leg wave low wave stonely wave here p wave is also known as primary wave longitudinal wave or dilatational wave and the s waves are also known as uh, secondary waves distortional waves or shear wave and uh, this relationship among p wave s wave low wave and relay wave uh, representing the velocity relation it means that uh, which have which waves have a highest speed as compared to other waves like s l r so here uh, p waves having a highest velocity uh, as compared to s l and r and uh, relay wave uh, having uh, lowest velocity among these four waves and this is the equation for uh, p waves and s wave this equation is basically uh, valid for uh, three dimensional so this is the velocity equation for uh, p wave here is a young modulus young modulus is uh, nothing but it is mechanical property of of a material solid material which measure the stiffness of material and it also tells about the relationship between stress and strain in a elastic regime mu is a poisson ratio and uh, you know poisson ratio is a ratio of uh, lateral strain to longitudinal strain and rho is a density in which it is a, it uh, rho is a density of material in which uh, waves p wave propagate and here also is a young modulus rho is a density mu is a poisson ratio and this equation is for uh, uh, s wave so this this both equation of uh, p waves and s wave uh, are valid for a three dimensional body and uh, uh, now let's try to understand the how uh, p waves uh, propagate in a solid and uh, in respect of p wave or any other waves uh, how displacement of uh, particle happens so suppose this is one case in case of p wave suppose this this arrow indicates uh, you know uh, wave progression and this is this uh, arrow indicates the particle displacement 
so here you can see that uh, particle uh, direction of p wave propagation and particle displacement are same so in this case uh, p waves will be in a compressive nature and here you can see that uh, this is the direction of uh, p wave propagation and this is the direction of particle displacement here both are in opposite direction so here p wave will be in will be in a tensile nature moreover p waves can only pro uh, p waves uh, can propagate in both uh, solid and liquid now let's understand the s wave suppose this is the uh, direction of s wave propagation and this is the direction of particle displacement so here you can see that uh, particle direction of particle displacement is perpend perpendicular to this uh, uh, s wave propagation so this this thing happen in case of s wave so and uh, therefore s wave can propagate only in solid not in liquid as i told that uh, p wave and s wave are body waves let's start let's let's talk about surface waves as i told that uh, surface waves are those wave uh, which are generated when uh, p wave and s wave are interacted on a free surface or maybe any uh, discontinuity surface so let's let's understand uh, the surface wave so r wave is a surface wave in case of r waves uh, suppose this is the direction of uh, r wave propagation uh, so and this is the particle moment so here you can observe that uh, particle 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 uh, moves in a ellipse in a planes normal to surface so this is this is about uh, r wave and as far as uh, l wave is concerned l waves cause the particle moment is horizontal direction this is the l wave direction of l wave propagation and this is a, this is the direction of particle displacement so you can see here that uh, uh l wave cause particle to displace in a horizontal manner and uh, last surface wave is a uh, stonely wave and stonely wave wave is those wave uh, which uh, propagate along the solid solid interface so what this is a uh, solid this is one layer of solid this is another layer and this is the direction of wave propagation and this is this arrow shows the direction of particle displacement so he, here you can see that uh, particle displacement is uh, perpendicular to this uh, solid solid interface this is basically a solid solid interface so this is about stonely wave so let me conclude by saying that uh, p wave and s wave are body waves and uh, r stonely waves and la waves are uh, are uh, from uh, surface wave so as far as uh, you know uh, here uh, r wave having a maximum maximum capacity to damage the surface structure most of the uh, structure uh, damaged Uh, used damage because of this r wave uh, in addition stress waves uh, can be divided into plastic waves elastic waves and uh, shock waves elastic waves are produced when a uh, uh, stress wave propagates in a medium which has a linear stress strain behavior so that that time stress waves in that material in that regime is known as elastic waves and the uh, plastic waves are uh, produced when a medium is stressed in a elastic plastic deform
information range and uh, sh as far as shock waves are concerned uh, shock waves produced uh, when uh, when material is stressed far beyond its elastic limit here uh, this is a strain strain curve for a ductile material uh, as you know we consider rock as a ductile so stress wave propagates in this range will be elastic and stress waves uh, when propagates in a material in this range in that case that will be uh, plastic waves and after this ultimate strain point uh, in this portion stress wave will be uh, sh says uh, shock wave in uh, in case of shock wave uh, fracture you know crushing of uh, rock happens because of blasting because uh, when uh, explosives are detonated in a short hole huge amount of energy generated having high temperature and pressure because of that uh, fracture and uh, and uh, disformation in rock mass takes place elastic waves also known as seismic waves and vibration wave this is the cross sectional view of a branch this is the short hole inclined hole short hole bench face bench toe bench crest this is the bench flow this will be the bench height and explosives poured in short hole this is the primer explosive column steaming column and uh, this is the blast initiator after uh, detonation of this uh, short hole uh, uh, shock waves or you can say stress waves are generated in this manner from all sides and uh, let me explain this figure ploy rock air of pressure vibration are the side effect of blasting and it happens uh, in uh, underground mines and open cast mines when whenever blasting is carried out to break and displace the rock mass at a particular distance and uh, this rho is the density of rock and uh, nu is a uh, you know velocity of sorry this is this will be v sorry v uh, this v is a uh, you know velocity of uh, velocity of detonation um, so the product of this uh, density and velocity and duration is basically is nothing but uh, impedance of explosive so there are three layers of rock this is the basically interface uh, solid solid interface there are three interface over here and uh, when a uh, when a uh, stress waves propagates towards uh, towards uh, interface or when travel in a uh, solid so at uh, interface refraction and uh, Ref reflection this is the reflection and uh, refraction this is the refraction happens and uh, so as i told that uh, when uh, uh, when a body waves interact with the free surface then surface waves are formed so this is the surface wave traveling like this this is the ground vibration sense it may be seismometer so this picture basically representing how waves are uh, travel and how refraction and uh, reflection of wave takes place at the interface and uh, so the ground vibration mechanism as well as uh, fragmentation of rock because uh, because uh, fragmentation of rock uh, depends Uh, on this uh, propagation phenomena because superposition of waves happens within the material so therefore uh, this is the this is the complete view 
that uh, how reflection and refraction of uh, stress waves takes place and this is the top view of uh, uh, borehole this is the blast hole filled with explosive and these are the cracks uh, when a detonation of explosive in a short hole happens uh, stress waves uh, propagates uh, from all sides and uh, area close to this uh, borehole is a uh, crushed is a uh, crushed because of shock wave and uh, atten attenuation of uh, shock wave happens because of the medium because medium having density you know discontinuities because of that uh, attenuation of shock wave and uh, and uh, you can say energy happens and this is basically uh, not crushed but uh, fracture happens because of the because of the plastic waves and uh, beyond this if uh, there is no any cracks but 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 there is a vibration on the earth surface so in that portion on the earth surface where vibration happens uh, where vibration happens but there is no any uh, major crack or maybe minor crack so in that reason you can say that uh, seismic waves propagates uh, and uh, you know seismic waves is uh, basically elastic waves and also you can say ground waves so so you know uh, when a uh, uh, detonation happens then uh, uh, waves propagate in this direction and this direction and this direction as well when a uh, uh, shock waves uh, interact with this free surface then uh, uh, initially waves will be in a compressive nature but when uh, interact with this free surface that uh, compressive waves will be converted into tensile wave and uh, most of the fracture fragmentation happens because of the tensile wave because uh, because uh, you know rocks uh, rock can be broken easily in a, in a tensile wave in a, by using tensile force as compared to compressive so therefore mostly fragmentation happens because of the tensile wave